The Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Khalima Motlante, concluded his visit to the United States in Washington, D.C., where he attended the 19th International AIDS Conference. This will help in sharing the South African experience to the international the community. The 19th International AIDS Conference is honored to welcome the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency, Kratlema Muklate. I wish to thank the organizers for inviting me to this 19th International AIDS Conference that aims to help all of us find better ways and means of responding to the HIV pandemic. It is such commitment, solidarity, and collective strength that will help us realize the theme of this 19th International AIDS Conference, namely, turning the tide together. Deputy President participating in panel discussions highlighted the success South Africa registered thus far in the fight against HIV and AIDS pandemic. Mr. Deputy President, under your government and with your personal leadership, South Africa has made remarkable progress in the struggle against HIV. As government, we were pulling in one direction where it was civil society led particularly by uh, activists, those living with uh, HIV, uh, were pulling in a different direction. We have now <clears throat> reached a point where in the South African National AIDS Council uh, have the same approach. Uh, we have a government and uh, about 19 different sectors of uh, the South African Society participating in SANEC, and we believe we've come to this age to 2012 uh, with the uh, understanding that we are uh, about to turn the tide. The Deputy President also thanked and appealed for more support and partnership with African countries and for the role U.S. in particular has to play. Thanks to your support various uh, foundations, the Sarah King John Foundation, for instance, is involved in Kailicha in Cape Town Township, where we run a center that uh, gives support to victims of rape and, of course, do excellent community work. And it is also thanks to the Bill Gates Foundation, which lended material support to civil society organizations such as the TAC, because without such support, it would not have been uh, easy and possible. Through the funding, we were able to uh, close the gaps in the financing and funding of uh, the response to HIV and AIDS. Thanks to what we call the champions. They go around where, you know, to deal with the difficult task of convincing uh, some of our most uh, conservative traditionalists, uh, people who say, as it was, so will it be, uh, and, and you can't change them. And so when, when we run into such uh, difficulties, the champions uh, with their prestige are able to sit down and talk to them. And we also want to thank Michelle Sidibe, who took us by the hand and said, you can do better. trying to respond to this difficulty and this challenge uh, from silence in an uncoordinated fashion. And so we need to work together. Today we have uh, the South African National AIDS Council. Uh, it's a body that 
brings together the broadest cross-section of the South African population focused on the challenge of responding adequately to HIV and AIDS. Thanks to the generous contributions, it is not time to pull back. Uh, this is the time for America to step up to the plate very boldly and uh, say that we will create a generation and wealth that will be free of HIV and AIDS.